So, welcome back to another one of my high-tech videos. Uh, so, Rob McDonough coaching for all things physio, training, nutrition, and habit forming. And um, so, uh, another friend of mine asked me to do something specific about strength training because uh, he was confused. So, uh, this is this video. So let me just turn that up a little bit. So, um, so again, looking at evidence-based training. So, what the evidence tells us. Um, is that we need to do 30 minutes of exercise five days a week, yeah? Uh, and a mixture of cardiovascular and strength training. So, you might say at work, go up and down the stairs and get breathless, that will count towards those 30 minutes. Walking to the shops, when you're not getting breathless, doesn't count towards that 30 minutes. Walking, the last time, is not exercise, unless you're old, you're very unfit and you get breathless. If you're getting breathless and you're young, when you're walking at a normal pace, then you need to do something about that because that's not normal. Um, and then strength training, uh, push-ups, pull-ups, squats, lunges, anything that makes your muscles stronger, essentially. And um, so yeah, cardiovascular, swim, cycle, run, brisk walk if it makes you breathless, stairs if it makes you breathless. Um, yeah, even some strength, some forms of what may be considered strength training at a higher repetition, say above 20, would be probably be more cardiovascular than strength training. And um, so if you're doing a kettlebell swing with a light weight and you're doing lots of repetitions, more than 60 seconds, it becomes more of a kind of an endurance or cardiovascular exercise. It's more of an exercise for your heart and lungs. And um, we'll get to that in a moment where these two cross over a bit more. Um, so if we look at, if we talk about body type first, um, so you got ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph, so your ectomorph, which is kind of where I am, you can get a mixture of both of them. So I'm closer to this, which is more of your runner's body type. Um, mesomorph then is more someone who puts on muscle easy. Um, uh, kind of a maybe a kind of a swimmer's body type, I guess. Um, doesn't doesn't so these two doesn't tend to put on the fat as easily. Um, and then your endomorph is your kind of strong man, a guy who put can put on lots of weight, lots of muscle, and lots of fat. Um, so if you kind of look at it, look at it going up, so lines going up, so. As, as you go from ectomorph to endomorph um, in body types, the, the, the body types tend to put on fat easier and muscle easier. Yeah. Um, again, I'm down here, I find it a bit more difficult to put on size. Um, but again, it's not, it's not impossible. Um, so if we look at reps and, and uh, sets, I'll put sets here. Um, so for pure strength, you're looking at kind of one to six reps um, or time under tension, TUT, is important because you can do 10 quick, quick push-ups or 10 slow ones, and that increases the time under tension and that the muscle is, yeah. Um, so for pure brute strength, um, kind of a, your 0 to 25 seconds or 1 to 6 reps um, then your kind of 6 to 12 rep range for more size and then kind of 12 or more so greater than 12 reps um, for more kind of tone and endurance um, but again obviously as you if you're doing say 1 to 6 reps um, you mean as you increase your strength, you are going to increase size. Um, uh, and you will, you mean, if you're doing 12 reps, you mean, you're, you, you probably are going to increase some size and it, you mean. Um, and then if you look at body types and then, and what your goal is. So for an ectomorph like myself, I need to be doing in order to increase size. Um, I need to be kind of getting closer to the six rep range. Yeah, if you're a more of a um, endomorph, 
I would be going more, uh, getting you to do more of the 12 rep range. And if you're more mes me mesomorph, um, you'd probably go mind me kind of halfway your eight to 10 rep range. Um, yeah, so for me to put on mass, I need to kind of do more six um, reps um, and going close to going, you can either go like there is, people talk about going to failure or not going to failure. Um, if I'm doing a, a shorter session, I'm probably going to do all my sets to failure if I can. If I'm doing a longer session, um, maybe more than 20 minutes, then I'm probably going to leave and I'm doing more sets. I'm going to leave a little bit in the tank um, a few reps off failure so uh, that I don't burn out in the first first set, if you get me. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's come down to... Uh, I. I think most people who train a lot kind of then kind of have their own kind of philosophy or style of training, which is what I kind of have. Um, so I tend to do a lot of body weight stuff because uh, it's easy. I do use some weights at, at work, but it's mainly dumbbells. Um, um, so yeah, I do mainly dumbbells and body weight training, more body weight than, than uh, weight. Um, uh, my, my goal is just to try to just get fitter in general and um but trying to build some size um but i'm not you I mean i'm not too pushed so um let's talk about so all of this doesn't matter unless you're consistent yeah so habit and trying to be consistent is the key so I'll, i i've worked it out that i can do 20 minutes of training i do during the week and it's realistic for me to get it in between work and my daughter and family life and whatever and um, 20 minutes is, is realistic and it's it's and i feel good afterwards i'm not exhausted afterwards um wh whereas when you do longer sessions you might be knackered um and i can keep that up consistently at the weekends when i have more time and um, then i'll do a longer session um, and i'll probably do maybe 40 minutes or more and um, depends on uh depend how i'm feeling um so and if if you are training just for general fitness it is good to kind of mix it up between the uh the different set rep ranges um yeah and then all of these and you mean two sets or more um i might yeah i might do two or three sets of an exercise one day and do 10 or 20 sets of an exercise of push-ups for example another day of the week um, again, my goal is just to be consistent and with consistency, gains will come. Um, my style of training, I do a lot of uh, high intensity resistance training and not high intensity interval training. So where I'll do, say, I'll pick maybe, for example, a nice easy one, uh, upper body. So I just do push-ups and pull-ups back to back um, for a set time, say 20 minutes, push-ups, pull-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, little to no rest in between. Usually my max reps in between sets when I when I train is 10 to 15 seconds. So I, I want to train shorter, more intense, more efficiently. I hate doing push-ups, resting a minute, push-ups or, or bench, rest a minute, bench, rest a minute, which is kind of a very traditional way of training. I prefer to be doing them something in between. I might do bench press and then with the same weight, I might do rows, bench press and then rows again. Yeah, so that's high intensity resistance training and the other beauty about high intensity resistance training you are going to get breathless so you are going to work cardiovascularly so your heart and lungs are getting a good workout as well um i tend to stick because i do only do 20 minutes the 95 percent of the exercises i do are all compound i don't do any ab work um i don't work on smaller muscles i don't do any like bicep curls rarely do bicep curls or tricep or tricep extensions or pull downs or anything like that so i tend to kind of stick to kind of um four key kind of fun fundamental movements so i do a push like a push up or bench press i do a pull like a row or pull up uh, i'll do a press so i do a handstand push up or an overhead press with dumbbells um i'll squat which will hit your anterior chain so more quads and i'll do a deadlift uh to hit more posterior uh, deadlifts i do i do a kind of shrimp squat but i hinge at the hips to make it 
more of a posterior exercise we can go into that in another video and uh, variations of squats and again i'll do all kind of variations of those either with dumbbells or with body weight then um, then uh, i'll also add in uh, some corrective exercises so i got a bit of a rotator cuff issue on my right shoulder um, which i can prevent having shoulder pain by doing things like face pulls which works on a, a lot of external rotation gets you into a better position and um, so loads of corrective kind of exercise there mobility work um, which i'm trying to improve on so um, working on my extension stiffness in my mid back uh, i've got a right ankle mobility issue which uh, which i which makes it a bit more difficult for me to do pistol squats on my right ankle or on my right foot and then i'll kind of mix it up with different kind of training programs um i will do like a upper limb lower limb upper limb lower limb then total body at the weekend or i'll do push pull leg and total body total body so i tend to do five days um i'll kind of train in a kind of a again a high intensity interval training uh, for the next month i'm doing actually five days of total body and um, but i'm not going to failure and that's another thing we can go through in another video because this one's long enough 10 minutes fuck um all right uh any questions please like share comment i know it's a long video so you may or may not pay attention who gives a fuck all right